Do you sometimes get just as lost as me? Drowning in your own lines of code? Having to find that one mistake in the huge files? Well... If you want to help me out, leave a like under this video. Subscribe if you want to keep updated and enjoy this update itself. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. Um, in this video, I just wanted to give you an update on our Flight Sim connector because I, I'm going to make things a whole lot easier for you guys. If you would go to bitsandroids.com slash downloads, you can now find an Arduino library link on the page. It's called Ar Bits and Droids Arduino Library version 0.2.0. And you still need to download the exe and run it that's above the library to actually get the data from the game. Well, we can just download that and it will download the zip file. And the beauty of this is, I don't know if you perhaps remember this code where we used to, if it's available, do this, do that, format the strings and etc. This could become quite big chunks of code that are prone to mistakes. So I thought of a way to fix that. And this is how our new approach actually looks like. So we included a library, which we've downloaded. If we want to do that, we can go to sketch, include library, add .zip library. And then we can just go to the folder where we've downloaded it and select the zip file. Now, just to give you a quick insight how it works, we define that we want to create a new connector. We're going to say, if it's a Uno or Mega, we say false. If it's a Leonardo or Pro Micro, we say true. And this is all documented on my website as well. So if you get lost, no, don't worry. In the loop block, we just say connector.data handling. So it's a function in the library that handles all the data coming in. And then we can just pick whatever data we'd like and print that in our own program. So this just makes it so much easier to implement the data coming in. So the only thing you need to do is, well, I didn't create the LCD library, somebody else did. So if you have an LCD screen, just go with the way you're used to, and then just say, okay, I want the data, in this case, ActiveCom1 coming in, and I want ActiveCom2 and StandbyCom1 or StandbyCom2 coming in. So, do we also have some documentation to go with that? Because I can imagine, okay, but there were more options and that's true. So we still have all the old values that are available. And on the website, you can find the release notes with all the new function names. So we can get the standby com1, standby com2, AP vertical speed, AP alt lock, the core and altimeter. Uh, one thing to note at this one is that the in-game it's a bit finicky because sometimes it's the the steam gauche or, or else it's the digital one so it's it depends on the airplane you're flying and the barometric pressure and this isn't actually i thought this would be the digital one and this would be the manual uh, gauche i don't know how to, how to pronounce it word but whatever uh, <laughs> But I'm not sure what it returns. I think it just returns the actual barometric pressure. So if you don't need that, you can just leave it out. Now, do we also have some examples? Yes. If you go to File, Examples. And if I'm correct, yeah, here we go. Here we have the flight connector with an example for Leonardo Pro Micro and an example from the Mega. So this is the example for the Pro Micro. Let's see how this one looks. This one is for the Uno and Pro Mega. So in this case, we pass it to value false. If we use a Uno or Mega, we have to include the serial.begin and serial set timeouts. And everything else is just the same. If we use the Uno or Mega, there's one thing you have to keep in mind. Well, apparently there is a different way the Uno and Mega handle serial connections. Because every time a successful connection is made, the board itself would reset. Now we can do something about that. And that's, um, as you might see, there is a capacitor hooked up from the reset to the ground. So you just plug it in the board or somewhere else. 
but that you have to make sure that it's in there after you've uploaded the code. Now, if you want to upload the code, you have to make sure that it's not in there because then it can't reset afterwards and the code can't be uploaded properly. So it's good to keep in mind that once you've uploaded it and Arduino says it's safe to go, you can just put the 10 UF capacitor between ground and reset. Now let's have, take a quick look. It might reset briefly if you put it in. Make sure that you put it in the right holes though. So here we go. Share my struggles with you because I was testing my library with an Uno and you can imagine that it cost me around four hours before I understood that the, Ar the Arduino itself was acting finicky and it was not my code causing it to crash. So I've spent blood and tears and, and a lot of crying on this one to get it to work on both. But it was just my oversight that we needed to have the capacitor in the ground to reset. And here we go, the data actually comes in. So now it's, it doesn't matter which board you use, you're always able to read the data from the game. Now the inputs are a different thing though. I'm still working on the throttle. And when I finish the throttle, I will have a way to actually input commands into the game directly from an Uno or a Mega. So that's coming up as well. So don't be afraid that if you have those boards laying around that you can't use them, because in the future you can. I was actually hoping to already being able to show you some uh, the progress I made. The only downside is that I've been printing for, I think, up to four days straight now, <laughs> and we're still not done yet. Um, currently, it's still running to build the enclosure of the throttle. So I think that will be finished tonight, and then I need to print out some more extra parts to assemble it and then we will be ready to go somewhere later in this week or perhaps next week by showing you how you can use, create your own throttle and use a potential meter to control the in-game throttle stick. So that's coming up. Once again, if you like this video, please leave a like. If you want to keep updated, hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.